Uh, guys, we're heading out to the stand soon. Um, got my got my boots and pants on, but took a couple practice shots earlier today. This is my uh, sec or uh, third shot from 60 yards. So right in the center, bullseye. So we should be good to go. Just gotta go start the truck and. And we'll be off to the stand. Well, guys, I figured I'd take one more practice shot. We're just going to shoot from 20 before I leave here. And uh, as you can see, it's the same one I hit at 60, about the exact same spot. So that is perfect. Uh, I got onto the driveway where my spot is here. And there's a bunch of turkeys in the driveway. Let's see if I can catch up to them so you guys can see a whole bunch of them. What's going on today, guys? So here's the deal. I gotta move my tree stand. Um, I haven't seen a deer here in about five or six nights, probably. I've sat in here and uh, I haven't seen anything other than the first night I was here. I saw two doe, and they were good doe, but they're just too, it, you know, it was trying to shoot through stuff like that. And at 40 yards, that's will never happen. Never a shot you should take with a bow. So. I was still hunting around last night, and I found a great spot. Um, it's a little more open than this, but there's a lot more browse down below. And then to my, well, where I'll be sitting, to my left, there's a uh, good little swamp. So I'm going to be setting up right between the two. Found a load of tracks. They're really plastering through there on uh, one trail. Um, there's actually two sets of tracks coming right together. And merging into one and it looks like a freaking highway so i'm going to be moving my stand there um and since i have this little bit of snow on the ground here uh, and since i'm not hunting right now i brought my jet sled um i did bring my bow in my backpack just in case i don't really intend to see anything but stranger things have happened so what i'm going to do right now is i gotta take my stand it's about as far as i can go with the jet sled so what I have to do right now is get in my stand. I have to get kind of all the way up there and get my um, gear hanging uh, strap and I got to get my um, harness tie off rope and then my bow rope obviously. So let me do that real quick. Wind up this bow rope and put that in the pocket of my stand. So I'll hang it up. Alright, now we're going to start coming back down.
Grab the tree stand down from the down from the top of the tree. We got all of our gear up from up there. All we have to do now is just loosen these cables and take the tree stand off the tree. I'll also have to untie my um, <coughs> rope to prevent the bottom of the stand from falling away from my feet. Well, basically it's just in case it falls, so that way you can pull it pull it back up. So here's the top portion of the climber. Here's the bottom portion. I'm going to go get these loaded up and I'll get right back to you. Alright guys, we're uh, down to the logging road. So basically I just got to drag it around the block. Um, from where my stand was, it's probably, I don't know, maybe 500 yards away. Um, so I'm going to drag it there and uh, I'll get back to you when I reach a new spot. Alright guys, so I am going to start talking a little bit quieter right now because we have reached the spot. Um, so this is the runway right here. It doesn't really look like much just because all the snow has really melted. But you can see where I walked last night and uh, the deer, trust me, the deer tracks were loaded in this one area. I mean, they were, this is a worn down path right to the leaves anyways. But. So, they're coming from multiple directions. They're coming from over there. And then they're coming from over there. But you can see there's a shit ton of natural browse down there. Uh, tons of little saplings. Overgrowth, really. Just, it's a bunch of, just thick. You know, it's good cover, good feed, good everything. But that's down there. Um, I, I would believe... That there's some bedding up there possibly I'm not sure I haven't really hunted up in that area much um, but I have been down here I've seen buck hookings down here before uh, in the years past but there is actually one fresh one right over there it's a tiny little guy but I can't shoot another buck right now anyways shit I'm gonna turn off my phone Hold on, my buddy's calling me. I gotta take this. Look at this freaking deer trail, guys. This is where I got my stand set up. I'm trying to be nice and quiet right now. I end up coming through here last night and finding this spot at about 410, 415. But I think this is gonna be a wicked. see my tie off or not but yeah that deer trail's coming from down there i think this is acting as a natural funnel because there's a little hill there a little hill there and this is already kind of an established uh i don't know it's just a clearing it's pretty clear i don't know if they logged it off in here before or what but it seems uh that this is like a natural funnel 
using it like heck, so we're going to get up into the stand and uh, I'm going to get positioned. situated up in the stand now. So let's just go what we got going on here. Start shooting this way. said this is a natural funnel there's tons of browns down there uh, a lot of browns it looks like they've all they've clear cut it pretty much all the new growth came up i'd say they i don't know how long ago they clear cut it but none of the stuff's bigger than that big round you know inch and a half to, you know saplings to inch and a half to four inches around is really all there is down there but don't look at thick so I'm thinking there might be some bedding right up on that hill. There's some uh, nice and big hemlocks up there. I'll get them out of the elements up there. And they got plenty of feet down there. And there's also a swamp right over there. So I'm pretty hopeful tonight uh, we might see something because of action. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, I sat in the sand for a while and. Um, my wife gave me the call that our uh, second baby is going to be born very soon. So I got to go uh, pick her up and we got to head to the hospital. Um, but I do intend on continuing this video as soon as I, as soon as we get out of the hospital, I'm going to hunt probably the last night that I can for the season and hopefully I can get one. If not, then oh well. But I'll catch you guys then. Hello everyone, we're uh, heading to the stand for our last morning sit of 2020. It might probably be my last sit completely um, for this year. We uh, got back from the hospital and everything on uh, Saturday, no, Sunday night. Yesterday I couldn't go hunting, but this morning I am, so hopefully we can make something happen, being the last sit, but I don't know, it's a good cold morning though, it's uh, 21 degrees, so we did get here a few minutes late, but oh well, I had other things to do, so probably going to pull the stand out today and everything too, so we'll catch up with you when I'm at the stand. It was wicked crunchy getting in here. 
possible. Uh, but we still be able to hear deer coming if they are. I don't really have much for a whole lot of shooting opportunities. But I got enough to hopefully make something happen. So, well, guys, that pretty much concludes my 2020 deer season. Um, we got all the stuff picked up out of the tree and got all packed up. We're going to be heading out now. Uh, I still got a ground blind I got to pick up on our, our land and uh, about six trail cameras out. I got to get all that picked up before snow flies. I might leave a couple of the cameras out just to see what's still kicking around, but yeah, that's the end of my deer season. Uh, I had a good year. I got a um, nice doe, 92 pounds I think it was, and I got a, a nice little four-pointer uh, during the rifle season. Um, that was a 120-pound four-pointer. Uh, and then I got a a, a little button buck um, during the archery season. Uh, and that one was... Um, my smallest one this year, but I'm still happy with it. My second ever bow kill, so I was pretty pumped. Um, but make sure to stick around for uh, ice fishing videos come this winter. Uh, post some pictures down in the comments of uh, how your deer season went. Show me what you guys got. Um, make sure to subscribe and uh, give me some ideas for videos you want me to see. And let me know. I'm hoping to do some uh, coyote hunting and stuff like that uh, this winter. <clears throat> I got I got the winter off, so. Um, but yeah, have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching.